Morning guys, folks. Uh, we're the 26th of January, 19. It is a beautiful day outside. I'm going on uh, Bay of Quinty, Lake Ontario, at the entrance of uh, Hay Bay between Thompson's Point and Sherman's Point for a little bit of ice fishing. This is actually a follow-up on my ice fishing smitty sled video. So if you haven't seen this one, uh, you should go have a look first because this is kind of a follow-up. You will not see me catch big fish today, uh, even if we do. Uh, it's just to show you guys how I set up to go fishing with the kids uh, and how I keep my kids involved in my passion so I can keep doing it, right? Um, if you absolutely want to see people catching big fish, I suggest you su subscribe to Uncut Angling with Aaron Weeb. He is crazy good. Uh, very good advices and uh, for ice fishing or or any type really very good uh, channel to subscribe to for this one here this is not uh, catching big fish it's just to show you guys how I set up uh, some people watching the smitty sled video wanted uh, wanted me to show them how it really act on the ice so here it is we have Approximately uh, 10 inch of, uh, of, of ice. I'm with uh, Jade and Jacob, my two oldest uh, children. And here it is, the Smitty sled attached to myself. And uh, it goes very well. Of course, right now we're almost on uh, on clear ice. So of course it's gonna, it's gonna pull uh, nice and easy. But, so I decided to stop on this uh, patch of snow just to show you. Of course, well, there's approximately 200 pounds of stuff on the sled right now, on the two skis. And uh, so, of course, when I start pulling, I need the, you know, a little pull. But uh, once it's, it's going, it's going forever. We're pretty much set up with the kids. We are actually set up. We're already on some uh, some fish, some nice perch. Uh, so I'm gonna show you uh, the complete setup that I have with the kids. I fish in an otter shelter. It's a beautiful day, so I only have a couple of anchors set up no wind at all that's the way I set up inside I put the carpet on the floor just so the kids feet are not directly on ice and uh, what I do is that on at each little uh, places I'm gonna have another another place mat that I put on the floor so even more isolation. Hello, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob at his hole. I would normally have Juliet right beside the heater, but uh, she couldn't come. And daddy's spot, which would be mommy's spot if mommy was with us. And I would be 
busy unhooking fish like crazy. I am fishing using the help of that Vexilar FLX28, which is a war machine straight up of the apocalypse. Uh, right now I'm using uh, the zoom mode. So the right side, the right side is actually the whole water column. And the left side here is actually a zoom of the, the last six feet. Sorry if, the, if it's uh, blinking. Uh, so you can see this is my lure jigging close to the bottom. And uh, it's too bad because I was able to have some fish engaging a couple of minutes ago. But it doesn't work anymore. But anyway, FLX 28 from Vexilar, the best machine you can get. Something that I always bring when uh, I'm going ice fishing with the kids, especially when I'm using any kind of uh, heater or stove camping stove and I'm using propane co2 detector that and it's a tabletop one you can mount it on a wall or you can put it on the tabletop so I just set it on the on the floor level it needs to be at no more than three feet from the the floor for it to uh, work properly because co2 is a heavy gas all right folks uh, the sun is uh, setting on the Bay of Quinney so Myself and the kids, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're uh, heading back to the car. We uh, managed to secure dinner with some perch. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, uh, just comment below.